Hi hey Capricorn, my name is Heather. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. So this reading is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Capricorn. It is a general reading, so the messages may or may not resonate with you, or it may resonate in a different way. So for example, I might be talking about money, career, finance, but you may find that it actually relates more to your relationships or your health. Okay, so Capricorn. We are looking at the month of September. Let's see what energies are around you in the month of September. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn? What messages are for Capricorn? Okay, so you do have the two of coins. So for many of you, not, um, not unusual for Capricorn. Looks like you're multitasking and balancing many things, juggling many things, having many projects on the go. So this could be a career or work-life balance situation here. This could be you are working more than one job. Uh, you could just juggling a lot of different things here. Uh, you're kind of an expert at that because um, Capricorn, you're a pretty hard worker and um, yeah, pretty par for the course for you. Uh, but it being upright here, it is positive and it looks like you're, you, you know, you're handling yourself pretty well. Uh, but just do take care and do watch. It might, you might also need to, being a two in a card of decision making and choices, you may need to take stock of what is important, what can you delegate, what can you let go of, and what can you, um, and what do you really need to focus on a little bit more to achieve the goals that you want to achieve, whether or not it's in money, career, finances, or it's in, uh, in your relationships or health. Either way, this is really about building stability here. And you have the uh, seven of coins here is what is crossing you. So yeah, this is, I feel like it's really time Capricorn for you to take stock inventory of all the effort and energy that you're putting out there, whether or not it's your money, career finances, your relationships uh, or your health and looking at what's working, what's not working. Again, what can you delegate? What can you uh, pass off to someone else or pass the torch down to someone else on? And what do you need to really focus your energies in? What is giving you the best bang for your buck, so to speak? What's get, getting you the stability that you're craving for here? Okay. And your focus here is the Queen of Wands. So it does look like you, um, I'm gonna pull a clarifier for that. And the hanging man. Okay, so seeing the, seeing something from a different perspective, taking that step back, so you can just see the world in a different view. I feel like so for you, Capricorn, what it is that you're taking stock of is what what really ignites that passion. What gets you enthusiastic, um, or what do you, what gets you inspired here with this Queen of Wands energy. And uh, so for some of you, this is even, you know, like refining yourself, refining your passions, your hobbies, what it is that you really enjoy doing, uh, what makes you want to get out of bed in the morning. And again, that could, can be related to hobbies, work, can be related to relationships as well. And, uh, but you're kind of removing yourself from your situation so you can look at back, look at it with a little bit more clarity and with a little bit... Um, for a, a bit more of an objective point of view to look at, okay, what's working, what's not working, what am I excited about, what is it that I want to do, what, you know, really inspires me and, again, makes me want to get up in the morning. The energy you're coming from is the Eight of Coins, so you've been putting a lot of effort and energy into, again, either your relationships or your work, your career, crowning you, love this for you, you have the magician. So. Whatever you want to do, Capricorn, you have all the skills, abilities, talents, tools that you need to be successful. And that's really in your strength, so it's awesome seeing that there. You have the nine of coins in your near future, so now to three months from now. Not surprising seeing the nine of coins here for a Capricorn person. Uh, this is really, I mean, you are a pretty independent sign, but this is, this is you, again, just being... Being in your element um, and just being very independent. So, so for some of you, um, I'm actually getting the sense for some of you that you might actually be starting, could be starting your own business, even if it's not your main business because you did have that two of pentacles where you're juggling, balancing multiple things. Perhaps you have a job, but you're trying to start something on the side. 
Uh, it could even be a passion project here with that Queen of Wands down in your foundation. But it's something that it gives you that independent freedom. For some of you, I feel like this even could be about retirement as well. Um, and you um, like breaking away and deciding like, do you have enough resources? Have you built, uh, and this is what you're assessing with that seven of coins, have you built enough of um, in your retirement funds and your investments that you can now comfortably retire? Okay, you do have the 10 of coins. Uh, so again, and this, so in this position here with this 10 of coins, this is, you're really, really assessing that uh, whether or not you, you have the financial stability to do what it is that you want to do that give, brings you that passion and that excitement here. Um, so you're looking at it, you're assessing it and determining whether or not you can do that. I'm going to pull a clarifier for that. You do have the king of coins. Um, so I do feel like whatever it is that you've got on the go, um, and when, the, when this comes to relationships, how this could be playing out in a relationship is I, because there's a lot of coins energy here. I feel like this is more in your home environment in your relationships. So um, you could be thinking about purchasing a new home, moving, buying a new, like just not purchasing a home for the first time, but, you know, selling and buying another new home. And if you've been concerned about any kind of finances and whether or not you have that finance financial backing with this king of coins here I do feel like that's you're, you're going to get it whether or not you have it on your own or you can get a loan it looks like it's coming through for you yeah again some of you moving retiring new job starting your own company because you have the world here uh, this is the environment around you so one chapter in your life has ended and a new one is beginning here for you Capricorn in the <laughs> not surprising in your hopes and fears you have the eight of swords so again this is one of your fears right now is you're, you're kind of a bit worried about making a decision here Capricorn because you're afraid of making the wrong decision you're such a grounded and practical sign Capricorn you really really think things through before you usually take action so um Again, this is a fear. I don't feel like that there's any grounding or any reality to what's going on in your mind with any of those fears. And you do have the Hierophant as your final outcome here. Um, so, so I feel like you are, um, it's, this, this can be a card about having faith and trusting yourself because in some decks it is called faith. Um, but it's also about seeking advice when you need it. Uh, so for some of you, you could be doing some financial consulting here. Uh, if you're looking at purchasing a home, for example, if you're looking at building that nest egg for the future, uh, again, seeking a financial advisor. And that looks like that's what you're doing um, between now and like a year from now as you're really focusing on that. I'm going to pull another card for that. Okay. And okay, you do have the five of wands here. So this is... Uh, a lot of scattered energy here. I'm going to pull one more because it's scattered energy and you have, okay, and it's followed by the six of wands. Okay, so yeah, I do feel like the, the issues is, is I th th perhaps there's more than one opportunity or avenue here and your best advice is actually to seek advice from someone who either has experience or is an expert in that field because that will help with your scattered, um, you putting all of your resources out there in an unfocused kind of way uh, because that is what's going to lead to success for you with this six of wands. Okay, so we're going to pull one final card. We're going to pull an Archangel Power Tarot card for any final messages from Spirit for you, Capricorn. Uh, it's a pretty positive reading, um, but again, this really it's really about stability, whether or not it's in your career, investments, relationships, even health. Um, okay, and what have we got for Capricorn? We have the world. <laughs> again, you have the world down here. Okay, so for you, Capricorn, this is a very happy ending and you're coming full circle. 
So uh, there's a lot of growth for you. You've gained a lot of insight from your past experiences and you're moving that forward with this new chapter that's beginning for you, Capricorn. So really nice energy for you for the month of September. I really enjoyed it. I'm happy about this because I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> and um, so take care and I hope you enjoyed the reading. Be sure to like, share and subscribe and I will see you next month. Take care.